Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be discussing about multivariate adaptive regression SP lines, in short MARS. So before I move into discussion of MARS algorithm, let us understand why we need MARS algorithm. So as you can see with the name multivariate adaptive regression, so it must be doing something with regression, right? So before uh, we see this regression, uh, let us understand with the data. Suppose we had this data, like this kind of variations in the data. It has sharp edges at this point. So if you try to fit a linear regression line over this data, that won't be fitting a better over here. So you can try fitting any other uh, variations of line. Suppose a second degree of polynomial regression or third degree of polynomial regression. It would try to capture the data set, but it won't be able to capture these sharp edges. So it would try to fit over here, but it would just go like that. So that point of uh, contraction or which where the, where the corners are present, it won't be able to capture that point. So that means our error will be more. So with normal linear regression line or with normal uh, polynomial regression line or any other variations of uh, model, we are not able to capture these kind of points at the corner. So to solve or to rescue this kind of problems so that the line should fit exactly at these points, we have this mass algorithm. So in mass algorithm, we generally have two stages that is forward stage and a backward stage. So in forward stage, what the Mars algorithm does is it takes the whole of the data set and it takes the subsample from the data set and try to fit a linear regression line on those subsample of data set. And when those lines are getting fitted on those sample of data set, it just try to connect those all those uh, linear regression lines which has been fitted, fitted by the Mars algorithm on those subsample of the data set. Consider this is the whole of the data set. And this is the subsample of the data set from this whole of the data set. So you can see this uh, Mars algorithm has fitted some linear regression on this sub, sub, uh, subsample of the data set and over here also. And has fitted linear regression line over here also for this subsample of the data set and similarly for others. And it has joined all those linear regression line with naught. And this naught generally occurs in pairs. And the number of nodes are selected randomly in the mass. It can be n number or like it, it is generated automatically inside the mass. So, but those nodes occurs in pairs and these nodes are generally called as basis function. So these functions are all always available in pair. So as you can see the example of this basis function. So it, this node has these two uh, basis function. So, so you can see that the basis function one has max of zero comma involvement variable. Involvement variable means the features which you are using inside it and the knot. So knot is not, nothing but the, the place where the knot is being formed. So this is what it takes as a function. And second basis function is just an opposite of this basis function one. So, so as you can see, it has max of zero comma not minus involvement variable. So this is what it does in forward stage. So it just takes the subsample from the data set, fit a linear regression line and join all those linear regression line through this knot. And this knot consists of two basis functions, which occurs in pair. And this is what the function of basis function look like. Now we have second stage as well, that is known as backward stage. So in backward stage, what does this Mars algorithm does it? So you can see this uh, knot, right? So in this knot, we have two basis function. So in backward stage, it does the pruning part. That means it removes this uh, basis function, which doesn't contribute to the model accuracy or remove the model error. So suppose while doing while fitting this line on this data set, it didn't find that this this uh, basis function two is good enough for the model. So it will just remove that function from this and it will fit the line. So this is what it does in backward stage. And it's all whole forward stage and backward stage comprised of mass. 
so this is what a mars algorithm is in general so let's see the implementation of this mars algorithm so for for installing the mars algorithm or for using the mars algorithm we have our library called pi earth which generally has in it the the function for uh, using the mars so uh, for installing the pi earth you just go to this uh, link and download the pi earth according to the version of your python so right now my python version is 3.6 so i'm using this this link and installing it on my system by using this simple command pip install this so let's just import the required libraries over here so i am using sqln dataset and uh, make regression function to prepare the dataset synthetic dataset and i am importing a linear regression function so that we can compare the mars and linear regression function and from pi earth which we have just installed above and from pi earth we are going to be importing earth which generally uh, uses uh, mars at the back end so this is how a mars uh, algorithm will be imported from pi earth and we have imported this warnings library so that it could be ignored it could ignore some warnings from uh, from which and region rates in the notebook so uh, let us define the data set and by using the make regression function so we have considered only two features right now and number of samples are 10,000 and we have produced uh, we have given some noise also so this is how we uh, generally uh, prepare a synthetic data, data set in, in, uh, by using by using sqlearn and we're going to be storing in in x and y variable so let us run it now first we will in first we will prepare the model of linear regression and will fit the linear regression model on this x y data set which we have generally which we have generated right now and we're going to be printing the coefficient of the linear regression which has learned from the uh, model and in the data set and finally we're going to be printing the linear, linear regression equation so let us run it so as you can see we have two coefficients present because we have two uh, features so the for feature one the coefficient is this and the first uh, second feature is the coefficient is this and finally we have intercept so the whole of the linear regression linear regression equation look like is this so which says that y is equal to the coefficient of first feature and into the feature one and the coefficient of feature two into the feature two plus and uh, intercept so this is what the linear regression line look like which is y is equal to x plus c and now let's fit the multivariate adaptive regression line and let's see what it outputs and what does it says about the not and uh, the basis function so this is what uh, we uh, generally take uh, the imputation from pi earth so we take the earth function from pi earth which generally has this mass algorithm imputed inside it and we fit on the data set and then we print the model summary and then finally we print the mass equation so let's run it and let's see the output of this uh, model so as you can see uh, this is the model summary it has printed right now and you can see it has this feature 1 and feature 2 and it has printed with coefficient that is first one is intercept and the second one is the coefficient of for first feature and the coefficient for other another feature and this pruned column says no so let us explain this uh, what does it means so so as you can see uh, this this basis function is generally uh, this basic function is generally prepared when we when we generally join the linear regression lines that means the where the not is present so there the basis functions are present so this is the basis function for the first first feature and you can see that it has not been pruned that means during the the basic functions are prepared during the forward stage and pruning is done during the backward stage so that means it says that there is no pruning has occurred in feature one so it means that uh, this feature is contributing to the prediction of the model so it hasn't removed it during the back stage so that's why the coefficient are this and similarly for the case of this feature 2 so suppose if uh, 
we had this feature the second feature wasn't contributing to the model so the the this pruning column would, would have said yes so that means this feature is not contributing to the model so this is what a uh, general function or general model summary look like of this mass mass algorithm and if you see this mass equation for this uh, for this uh, model output you can see that for uh, for first feature it has this coefficient and for the second feature it has this coefficient and intercept is this so and then we are just combining it and as i said in the second scenario like suppose this feature is not contributing to this uh, model and it, the pruning has been done and it, it has been said that okay yes then what the equation would have been like it would have just removed this this feature from this equation and the whole equation would have been like this only it, it would have consisted consist like this only this much information and it would have removed this information in the second scenario for the first scenario is there is this whole equation because both of these uh, features are contributing but let's suppose this feature is not contributing that means that not or doing the pruning of the back staging part it has removed this feature uh, the second feature so it would have removed this from the, this equation and the equation would have been only this much so this is what a mass algorithm looks like and this is the working of the mass algorithm and this is how you implement it so this is all about this video hope you like it thank you